This last tutorial on creating a working drawing is to set up your borders and your default um, text boxes for your name and the date and, and the name of the project. So to start off with, I'm going to switch over to the sketch tab and I'm going to click on draft grid and that will create a grid. Okay, um, actually bring up the menu and then when I click on show grid, uh, it will create the grid. Now grid parameters, I click on XY spacing. This is now where your, your grid snap is. So in this case, what I want to do is I want about a half inch border away. So I've already changed it to point, uh, point 0.5. So every half inch it will snap. And I'm just going to hit done. That's right. I'm going to hit enter first or check mark. Okay, and then done. And I'm just going to close this off by just clicking somewhere else. Now, I just go create a line. And you can see now that it's snapping in place. Okay, and it might be hard to see on the screen, but there is a grid here. And I'm just going to click and come down to the bottom and click. And then I'm going to click again and across. And I'm just going to continue all the way around. So I'll just get this done. And then click over there and finally close it off. So now I'm just going to center mouse click and then I'll center mouse or right or left mouse click and there's my border. Now the next one is I'm actually going to go to tables and create a table down in this corner. So I can go to table and click on table and I'm going to make it, I don't know, let's uh, go, I want my name, uh, the name of the project, I want the name, the date, and the scale. So let, let's, let's go for three by two. Okay, and that's just going to create a small little table down the corner. I'm going to zoom in and now I'm going to modify it. So obviously if I just right mouse click and go properties, okay, I can do height and width. So I'm going to say width per column is going to be, let's go for three inches for each column, right? Just hit okay and you can see it expands. And I'm going to drag this now, I okay, grab the corner, I can drag it over and I can drag it down. I'm going to put it in the corner. And now I can take things up here like add column, add row, height row, you know, um, merge cells. So I'm going to take the cells. So I'm going to take this cell, pull the control key down, that cell, that cell, and I'm just going to merge them. Okay. And then I'm going to change the height. And I think if I just do that, no, that just moves it. So put it back in place. Let's get my snap back in place here. Okay. So I'm going to take this column here or cell properties and I'm just gonna oops sorry about that I'm gonna do a uh, height and width and uh, width and drawing units three I'm actually gonna take off the automatic height adjustment height and drawing units I'm gonna go for one whole inch high okay so I hit OK now I just gotta move it back into place again and then I can basically just continue this and go okay well the next one's down control key Highlight those guys. Whoops, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Let me go somewhere else. There, control key, control key. And I'm going to go height width on this one. And again, I'm gonna go, maybe I don't need a whole inch this time because it's only my my name and date and stuff. So I'm gonna go 0.75. Right, and okay. And whoops, that wasn't right. Made it skinnier. So height and width. And instead I want one point. I don't know. Let's go one inch. And then hit preview. Oh, let's go 1.5 inches. 1.5. Preview. There we go. So, and again, I'm just going to hit OK. And I'm going to move this and make my make it snap back into place. Okay. So, now i got my box. Now what I do is I can just right mouse click into here. Properties. And I can just put in end table. Right. and hit OK. Now there's the end table. Obviously it's not the right size. Right mouse click, properties. I can go into editor. No, sorry, not editor. I can go into text style and now change the height. So I want horizontal, for example, centered. Vertical, middle. I want the height of the text. Let's make it uh, one inch. Okay, hit preview. Oops, that's uh, maybe a bit too big. So instead of height of one inch, I go 0.75, preview. That looks good, I don't like the font. So I can go and change the font, 
to whichever font I want. And preview, oh, that's looking better. Maybe a bit too high still, so let's go for a height of 0.5 inches. Okay, preview, there we go. Okay, and then it's just a matter of going, putting my name, the date, and the scale down in here. And I'll leave it at that. But that's basically the gist of creating the border and the table down the corner um, for, for getting ready to print out the drawing. And I'm going to stop there.